what is a stored DTC or diagnostic trouble code. In this video, I'm going to quickly cover what a stored code is and let you guys know if this can prevent you from passing an emissions test, as well as give you guys a few tips and ways of clearing this up. A stored code has many different names, which I'll go ahead and display for you guys on the screen. The issue that's causing the stored code has to be addressed and a proper drive cycle is needed to set the inspection monitors before you take it into the smog station. Stored codes can also be shown as pending codes. So the stored code here for the P102 is showing stored right up here. It's also showing as pending. And it could even show up as permanent code. So the same P102 shows up three different times in three different ways. And stored codes are triggered by the vehicle's computer noticing that there is a constant issue or it has happened many times. The vehicle's computer has noticed that the issue is not temporary. So stored codes are not going to be the same as pending codes. Pending codes are just a glitch or some sort of random intermediate issue that can sometimes go away. Stored codes will trigger a check engine light to turn on and stay on. Stored codes can be cleared with OBD2 readers like this. You could also try removing a stored code by removing the negative battery cable. And on newer vehicles, this is not as effective. And your vehicle can clear a stored code by verifying that the issue is no longer detected. And as a tip, if you see your check engine light is actually flashing, Make sure you guys pay close attention to that because that could be a very problematic situation where your vehicle is actively misfiring and you can cause yourself a lot of headaches and ruin a lot of emission components. So I really like to have an OBD2 reader like the one I'm holding in the vehicle on a lot of the newer vehicles because some of the vehicles will go into limp mode if a check engine light is triggered and the problem is severe enough. And I really like this one because it gives you everything one simple screen. So right here we can notice that it has two trouble codes, two that are pending, and it lets me know all the monitors that are ready or incomplete, the simple check mark or a red X if it's not. And it also gives me a visual alert down here as well. I'll leave you guys a review video link down below. And if there's anything that I forgot to mention in the video, please comment down below and I will do my best to point you in the right direction. If you need help with the drive cycle, I have vehicle specific drive cycles for every make in the video description box down below. And at the end of this video, I'll leave you guys a video where you could find out about pending codes, store codes and permanent codes all in one and this will go ahead and save you a lot of headache and money in the future and if you guys like the shorter format videos make sure you guys give the video a thumbs up as it really lets youtube know that i'm bringing you more valuable content 